Welcome back Dubai and welcome back to DXB today. Now, one of our favorite adventurers is in the house. He's not only one of our favorite adventurers, but he is also a host on Dubai One as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Paris Norris. Good to see you. Well, well, you Isabella see you thought her intro was good. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I feel privileged. <laughs> now, look, um, where do we start? You've just come back from an epic adventure. Uh, so many questions. We've, I've got so many things I want to say to you, but let, let's first start off with that. How are you feeling? Oh, right now I'm, I'm rather pleased to be on dry land in a nice warm <laughs> studio. Uh, you know, and able to have a shower these days <laughs> as I was, I was getting bad for 39 days on the ocean. Yeah. Tell us exactly oh. what that was before we go into your guy in Dubai side of things. What did you do? What did I do? We rode 4,800 kilometers across the Pacific Ocean, me and three friends of mine. Um, it took us 39 days and we faced everything from 40 foot waves, uh, storms, we saw whales. Why? Yeah, we need it. Why? Yeah, why? why? I'm waiting to hear because. I mean, look, there's many reasons why. There has to be why, a reason. <laughs> but there's like one underlying reason, which was because I thought it would be fun. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And it was fun. And that was why I did it. Uh, but, but we also did it to, uh, aside from just having fun, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we did it to raise money for marine conservation. And so uh, that was the sort of purpose behind it. So we, we did a big charity fundraise. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we, we wanted to create a, a, a documentary about this adventure as well, so. Amazing. Amazing, I mean, not everyone could do that, which is, you know, so incredible. Don't big him up anymore, yeah. please. <laughs> How could someone support marine conservation if they can't, you know, sail for 4,000 kilometers across yeah, the Pacific? Is there something that we can do to make ourselves have, feel better? Absolutely, <laughs> you know, you don't have to go and do that. Don't want to get so that's boat. why I said it was for fun initially, yeah. because you don't have to go and do that in order to support marine conservation. So there's a number of projects you can get involved in um, to fund them, to be, be, put your mm. hands to work. Uh, many here in the UAE, I mean, we've got um, uh, turtle conservation, uh, mangrove plantations, yeah. and we've got coral restoration, um, beach cleanups, uh, people going into the mountains and doing cleanups there. So anywhere where there's people, there's mess, right? And there's problems. So like we have to kind of balance that by going and fixing it, sorting it out. And luckily, we've got some really great organizations here in the UAE who are, who are managing that, who are doing that and promoting it so people can come and get involved. And that's interesting because I know you cover it on your show, Guy in Dubai, which is on Dubai One. So how, but how can they get involved then? Where's the best place for people to find out how to get involved? Is it more of an Instagram? Is it a website? What do you think? Well, you can watch my show. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, uh, for inspiration, I mean, I guess it depends on what type of adventure you like. Um, because the, the great thing is, is you, it's not just going and helping conserve the environment. Mm it's also an adventure and it should be enjoyable. Yeah. And you can um, meet people, interact with wildlife uh, and be you know, among the amazing environment we have here, which we have quite a variety. You know, we've got mountains, we've got the sea, yeah. we've got the Any desert. specifically you've covered recently yeah. on the show that yeah. people got involved in? Yeah, we did two, two really nice episodes. One was um, mangrove uh, plantations oh. in Abu Dhabi at Jebel Mangrove uh, Park. And is that where you go kayaking? Yes. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. Exactly. Yeah. So if you like to, you know, that's the adventure, right? You go out and go kayaking. Abu Dhabi's got over 200 islands. So you go to a beach that, you know, is, you know, white sands and blue water. And you help out by planting mangrove trees, which are like designed to tackle global warming because they pluck the CO2 out of the air and, and create oxygen. So that, so, uh, so it helps the environment. and. It's a, bit, it's a fun adventure, you can do it with friends or even people are, are doing it you know, as part of team building for their companies, yeah, yes, awesome. getting out there and uh, it's a bit of fun. Such an amazing thing to do because you know, the city has so much to do, restaurants and you know, bars and activities and whereas this hasn't really been much of a big thing, you know, I want to say to my friends, oh, instead of going to brunch or What's this? you know, for breakfast, yeah. let's go and do this, let's go and kayak, also plant some mangroves. You, this seems like a very accessible thing that you can do on a weekend. Here, maybe people don't think you can. Yeah. So no, yeah, this is really cool. More adventurous. Come on, inspire well, us. I mean, yeah. The weekend's coming up. Well, we well, want to well, know this what the to thing. Do. Yeah, like Hawaii was uh, like where you ended up. 
and yeah. you relaxed and you took your time. But I saw you were still doing adventures. Yeah. You were still getting up to something. So what is the next big adventure? What What is going to just um, be on your radar? Because, man, yeah, what you just did was monumental. Well, How are you going to top that? No, this is it. <laughs> is I'm trying not to top it. Please don't. <laughs> because if I keep going bigger and bigger, there's not going to be a me anymore. So I, I'm calming down. I'm focusing on having a nice, quiet winter in Dubai. Small adventures. So, look, the thing about adventure is, unfortunately, it has become a very competitive thing to do. People mm -hmm. are trying to break records and, you know, um, be the first person to do this. And I think that's um, missing the point of adventure. Yeah. Adventure is about what you can absorb from it. Like, it's amazing to be, for us, being out in the ocean was incredible. It was healing. I, I'm a different person coming back to Dubai now. Um, Still with all the old habits, though, but I'm <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but, but, uh, a new person. So it, it does such amazing things to be uh, out there for the soul, with the friends that you can be with. So I'm not trying to top anything, break records, go bigger. Not at all. I am uh, uh, still enjoy going hiking with my friends on the weekend. We go every Saturday, have the best conversations and, and have a great time. Um, uh, I love scuba diving. We've got some great scuba diving in uh, the UAE. You know, we're surrounded by sea. Free diving also. Um, you can see some amazing wildlife under the water. Um, you know, we, we've, got, we've got a lot there. Oh, Paris, lucky. thank you so much. You've always got great ideas, and I can't wait to see more on Guy in Dubai, right? Yep. On it, Dubai One. On. Thank you so much for coming on our show today. Now, it is time for us to shift the spotlight over to Isabella and Katie. Katie's going to be grilling you over here. That's DXB right. in 60. It is. It is time <laughs> for today's D DXB in 60. <laughs> Isabella, now I know you've been you've been on the show before, but we've changed up the questions and we want to know more about you. Okay. We want to know more about Isabella. Yes, last time I was listening. So I'm going to get lots. 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock, starting in three, two, one. If you weren't working in the travel industry, what would you be doing? I would be in musical theatre. I'm obsessed really? with musical theatre. Give us a quick jazz hands. <laughs> okay. What, what what do you think your hidden gem is in Dubai? Um, oh my goodness, Dubai has so many hidden gems. I think the you know everyone thinks it's very glossy and superficial. So going under that level, you know, going to Al Kuz, going to Al Sakal. Okay, Al Sakal. Al Sakal. I mean, one. it's not a hidden gem, no, but for people one. coming to Dubai, they don't know about it. Do you have a specific muse or in, or an inspiration in your life or in work? Um. Not one specific. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to say that. Okay. I, would, I would be making one up if I said. It's Lane, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it was. Um, what is your favourite? But that's changed today. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite travel destination? And this one I'm going to ask for one. In the whole world? In the whole world. South Africa. Okay. And finally, what is your motto in life and work? My, okay, it's from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. in the So the Aww. 80s movie, yeah. What is it? Life moves pretty fast. If you don't, don't stop and look around, sometimes you could miss it. Yeah, oh, so not yeah. the Sausage King of Chicago. I no. <laughs> Isabella, yeah, thank range. you so much. You've honestly been fantastic. So thank, thank you so much, much for having me. Yeah. It's been Huge such appreciation. And, and 60 seconds is not enough. We need more time. Can you please come back again for a third time? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, so now, after this, Nimi gets an exclusive. She speaks to Jada Pinkett Smith in one of those interviews that everyone wants to see. So don't go anywhere.